I just see him when we play. Um, he'll be in chapel at times when we cross paths. I always see him for the game. And, you know, he'll, <laughs> he'll point at me right before he's trying to beat me, that kind of thing. But uh, my time with Russell was um, enjoyable. I think when you're around high level, highly competitive guys um, that are chasing something, they, they challenge you uh, indirectly and directly. And I thought that helped me grow as a coach. Um, having been around Kevin and Russ when they were so young and still being a part of, or at least being a part of their development stages earlier in their careers, that was pretty cool for me. And uh, those two guys set the tone for that organization. Uh, we have 11 o'clock practices, and those two guys would be on the floor at 8.30, 9 o'clock in the morning, getting their shooting in. Uh, go shower, have breakfast, and then come practice. And that had a huge impact on, on me. And I could always tell guys the stories of how hard they worked. And um, he's just, he's one of the guys that I've, I've, I've never seen an MVP get criticized and marginalized the way he has. You know, and I've, I've always felt like a lot of it was kind of weird. I'm not in their locker rooms or the locker rooms he's been in, but I know he's he's one of the best players historically in the game. And uh, I really enjoyed my time with him. We butted heads ever so often um, in a good way, and uh, it helped me to grow as a coach. So I appreciated my time with Russ.